Hi, Eileen. Hey, Claire. How are you? Good to see you here. I know. We need to go on a meeting like this. Yes. <laughs> how you been? Great. How are you? Peachy keen. Oh. Right as rain. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. It makes you good as gold. <laughs> oh, I like that one. Uh, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Hmm. You can win more flies with honey than you can with vinegar. Oh, I like that one too. Strength, true strength, is not bluster. Hmm. Persuasion is stronger than force. Wow. Those, those remind me of a story. <laughs> the one where the sparks fly between the sun and the wind? Either that or our present political climate. <laughs> Bluster. Well, why don't we tell that story? Sure, why not? Would you like to hear a story? <laughs> you came to the right place. <laughs> All right, I'll start. Okay. okay. I'll, I'll be the wind. No, I am the wind. You are clearly the sun. Look at you, you're all dressed for it. Isn't she nice and sparkly like the sun? <laughs> you are the sun. Alright, I'll be the sun. I'll be the wind. <sighs> so all good stories start with... One. Long, long ago. The sun came out and spread her rays out into the universe and shone that light down onto the big blue marble we call the Earth. Oh, I love sending my warmth 93 million miles down to that little planet. I like watching the grass grow and turn green in the spring. I like watching the corn grow as tall as an elephant's eye. Oh, look, there's an apple blossoms and they open with my warmth and light one petal at a time until the petals fall away and then there's just a little green that grows into a big beautiful red apple. Huh? I like being the sun. I'm glad you like being the sun. I do. Because I like being the wind. Those leaves that she may grow on the trees Soon they turn to red and orange and yellow and they fall off the trees and I just blow them all around everywhere they go. I love to blow hats off the people's heads. I love to blow the clothes on the clothesline and make them dry in an instant. I am the wind and I am much more powerful than the sun. Wind? Mm -hmm. It sounds like you are boasting. Oh, I am, because I have plenty to boast about. Oh, you are full of bluster. I'm glad she didn't say hot air. <laughs> <laughs> well, Wind, you think you have power, and you think you can make anything happen through your might and your strength. That's what I think. That's, That's exactly right. right. There might be another way, Wind. There might be another way. All right, I'm going to challenge you to a contest, okay? I'm up for it. Might and power versus persuasion. Okay. You see that man walking down that road there, that I dusty see. path? I see him, the one with the cloak, the cloak, the cloak, the cape, the cloak. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the one with the cloak. That is going to be the challenge. I believe that I can make that man remove his cloak. Do you think you can make that man remove his cloak? I'm sure he can just blow it off him. It won't be hard at all. And so the wind blew just a gentle little breeze down to the man, just to let him know that the temperature and the day and the weather were going to change, and his cloak just billowed out behind him a little bit. He pulled it around him, but the wind blew a little stronger, so he held on a little tighter, and then the wind blew a cloud in front of the sun, and the day became very cold. In fact, there were some snow flurries in the air, and the man put his hood up, and he tied it under his chin, and that wind was blowing so hard that he had to bend down and walk into the wind. It was so cold, he hung 
on to that cloak for dear life, and he was not going to let it go for anything. I tried, son. He won't take that cloak off. I'm sure you won't have any better luck. What? Are you out of wind? <laughs> I am a little winded, yes. <laughs> well, let me see. So the sun shone forth her rays and sent him down to the man, where he could feel the warmth across his shoulders and his back. And he even changed his posture from being all bent over. He could see he was softening and his gait became more relaxed as he moved along. And pretty soon he took the hood off of his cloak. And next thing you know, one shoulder, he took the cloak off and then he took the cloak off the other shoulder and walked and the sun continued to shine and make it a beautiful day. And before you know it, that cloak was off and he'd thrown it over his arm. And as he walked, he opened his heart to that beautiful day and opened his face to the blue skies and the warm sun that came down to him. Okay, you win. I guess you're right. True strength is not bluster. Persuasion is stronger than force. Thank <laughs> you.